Welcome to math. Let's learn about measuring tools. How would you measure a chair? A rabbit? What about a car? These things are different sizes, so they need different measuring tools. There are many different ways to measure. We could measure how fast the car can go, or the power of the engine. We could measure the air pressure in the tires. At the veterinarian's office, we measure the rabbit's weight, how fast the rabbit is growing, and take its temperature. How could we measure a chair? We could measure the length, width, and height. There are many things and ways to measure. Today, let's take a look at measuring the length of some objects. Small things can be measured with a ruler. Rulers usually have inches on one side and centimeters on the other. Can you think of some things a ruler could measure? Let's measure a cell phone. First, line up the zero on the ruler so your measurement is accurate. Count the inches and see where it ends. The cell phone is about five inches long. Now, let's flip the ruler around to measure in centimeters. Line it up. The cell phone is about 13 centimeters long. What about something larger, like a car? What measuring tool would be most efficient? How about a ruler? I could line up lots of rulers, yardsticks, or meter sticks, but it wouldn't be efficient. What would be a better tool? How about a tape measure? A tape measure can stretch to measure bigger objects. Are you ready for a question? What tool would be appropriate for measuring a toothbrush? A ruler, right. How about a guitar? A yardstick or meter stick? What about a school bus? Measuring tape, well done. Are you ready for one more question? What is the length of the fork? Let's measure in inches. The fork is about four inches. Now let's measure in centimeters. The fork is about 10 centimeters long. Well done. See you next time.